Look at that timing. Didn't even Time. production didn't even tell us. Look at that. Fantastic. Bulldog is going to be starting on the CT side this time. So maybe they're going to have to pick up a couple more rounds. Pistol round soon to be underway and no buys from either team. It is just going to be armor across the board with the exception of Emperor actually. I'll take it back. He's going to be buying up a flashbang and a defuse kick just in case. MT, a couple of bullets fired, none connected as of yet. Apart from directly onto his head. Tap's going to be coming on through, and this time from the CT spawn. Ozzy going to be taking a little bit of damage. Wish going to finish the job on MT. And that is going to be the first frag. Bomb's now going to be going down on the beach site. Yeah, kills continuing to go the way of Dark Spawn, and they survive with all five alive at the end of the pistol round. So that is the ideal start there on the T side. And uh, Dark Spawn looking to make this a swift 2 0, which would be much appreciated from a casting perspective. But be quite nice, in terms of a game quality perspective, it wouldn't be great. <laughs> but uh, Dark Spawn Gaming buying up a good couple of AKs into this one. Three to be exact. The Mac tends to farm up a bit of the cash as well. But like Esports. Just on the full eco and Ooh. impact, the only player with an upgraded pistol just gets completely and utterly deleted. We're going to be doing the same thing. There, rush down banana. Can't really, uh, did a good job. And again, no one dies with Dark Swan Gaming. Nope. All this, five, this still alive. Quite clean. Can't really complain about that. The entirety of Bulldog still yet to frag. Five kills on Whisk so far, so... It's not having a terrible first two rounds. We're moving to round number three, of course, with that full eco. Bulldog do now have the money available to be able to uh, pick up full automatics across the board. Three of them scoped, two of them not. As we are going to be opening up the engagements from Dark Spawn, it looks like they are setting up towards the A site utility being deployed to be able to block off the mid angles. Rez, not going to be scared of it though. Still going to be holding quite close. We're going to be smoking off the site as well. The pot flash to boot. Just for his teammates to be able to jump directly out. But it's not going to be enough. Impact's going to have to pick up a single frag along with Scythe. Impact picking up two, actually. But Whisk and Aussie, they're not going down by the fight. Yeah, effective trade to stay onto the site for Dark Swan Gaming. They take heavy casualties, but at least they get the bomb plant down and can set up four post plant now. Emperor heading his way through Archie. He does have a teammate. MT currently creeping himself up mid. They might just link up here and just decide to go short. Empty going to be the first point of contact in this one. We've got Jenko inside the pit. The flash from the CT side. Not going to catch anyone now. The Molotov into pit, but Empty can't finish it off. And now Jenko and Ozzy against Emperor. Bomb ticking down away. There's no kit on Emperor, so this is no chance for him to get himself into this round. 3-0 to zero to Darkspawn Gaming. Continuing on their form from the previous round. Yeah, definitely. Um, of course, this wasn't as clean as the previous rounds on this map and definitely not as clean as some of the rounds we've seen on Overpass as well. Dropping down to a two versus two, not the greatest performance from Darkspawn, but of course they do still secure the round. Full buy going to be available for Darkspawn still, of course, off the back of that, and there's still a lot of economy built up for them. Same cannot be said for our CT side. Pistols across the board with the exception of Emperor's saved M4. A little bit of utility going to be popped just out the top of Inferno. Top of Inferno, sorry, top of Banana. But no engagement as of yet. Darkspawn don't want to be going through apps in this round, especially against pistols. Sure, there's nobody there, but if they do, it does put Bulldog in actually a better opportunity, especially with these pistols, which can one tap in certain situations. I mean, you have also the save them for from Emperor as well. And uh, that is currently situated on the B oh, side. Jenko. Excuse me? Finds the head of Rezd. When I don't think, well, at least. There's no gap in that smoke, at no. least not on our end, so. Interesting That's one. Really Dark Spawn no Gaming, gap. though. They will collapse on Banana here. But this is straight into where the M4 is for Bulldog Esports. So, Emperor, he has a lot of work to do here if he's to give his team a, the chance, but. Certainly a possibility if he lines them all up. 40 seconds left remaining in the round. Here comes the rotation bit for Bulldog Esports. Emperor finds one, trying to delay them. Beaks out again, and Jenko will find his head. Darkspawn Gaming finding the frags, finding all the map control. Plant down as well. It's, it's methodical. Yeah, it's... 
they've just lined these up perfectly. They've been able to take down anyone and everyone who's walked directly into that line of fire. Of course, Whisk is going to be the first one to fall in the hands of Emperor as he was holding back towards Emo, but he was going to be safe. Full bar going to be available for our CT side. Still yet to get on the board. Still a 4 0. Resident MT yet to frag as well. Still yet to frag? Yeah. MT. Sends the Scythe, utility okay. down, but uh, Cypher able to open things up in this particular round with the orb. So finally, Bulldog Esports have an early round advantage here as a result of that pick. But can they work this into a round win? That is the big issue. Right now, oh. Darkspawn just taking it slowly after that early pick. Bulldog Esports securing the top of Nano with that smoke. Again, slowly does it, it seems. It seems to be the theme for both of these sides. Yeah, they... It's weird, because obviously uh, what we've seen quite a lot uh, in the best of ones and some of the best of threes earlier on today was incredibly quick, incredibly confident gameplay. Yeah. Uh, where teams are just rushing onto sites, they're able to execute whenever and wherever they wanted to on any site, and it was working. They were playing quick rounds and they were catching the opposing oh, CT wow. side off guard, but... Same cannot be said for Darkspawn and Bulldog. Emperor got to be the solo player. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Empty's on top no, of the... on there uh, as well, yeah. On top of the new box. Bit of an off angle. Do they check this one? He's going to be showing. You can see his legs. Why is he standing up fully? That wow, is he still gets awesome. What is... Why? Why? But somehow, still, Bulldog Esports have the numbers advantage. They have the rotation on the way through Banana as well. Darkspawn, Bomb Plan down, Jenko 10 HP, very susceptible to the Molotov that uh, Impact has. And now he's going, Jenko is going to be left all alone on this B-Bomb site to try and defend from the retake, but Rez will be able to find him. What? How did Bulldog Why is he round? standing up there with his legs showing? Without being able to see anything, Without he's actually looking at a brick wall. He doesn't know how angles work in CSGO. Apparently not. Or in life, in general. <laughs> Three players. His trigonometry wasn't there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a mess. That was a. It, it was. was a it was a bit messy. Like Bulldog realistically shouldn't have won that round at all. Um, they weren't set up correctly to be able to take the fights. But Dartspawn clearly dropping the ball when they pushed directly onto the side. Didn't expect to see the boosted player. Bulldog going to be taking a round for themselves. Finally, Whisk going to be tagged down a little bit by the fire. Dropped down to 74 HP, but. Overall, he's going to be safe. Another slow round going to be coming on free from Dartspawn. And as we were talking about quick contact plays towards certain sites, that's what we saw, and it didn't work in Dartspawn's favour. So they're going to be wearing slow oh, crossfire coming on through. And while Scythe is going to be able to take down Pulse, Cape is going to be able to retaliate and take down Impact. It was also holding inside of that corridor. Grenade going to be deployed on Sandbags. And it'll be home for it to connect onto, but still good to check that angle anyway. Rest. Res. Finds Capers. Emperor. Oh, he'll spot one out. Empty up on the boost, though. He's got one, and that will be all he's going to get. Jenko sorts him right out. He's still got Emperor on this site, though. Currently playing towards construction. Cypher gets here with the AWP. Emperor able to find Jenko. So Aussie all alone now against three Bulldog Esports players. Been given room to work with on the site. Lance to spray onto Res. Emperor is very low as well, so... He will be easy pickings. Ozzy even needs to get a re reload in here, but he's 4 HP, a single shot, even through the coffins, and it does happen, will put him in the grave. And Bulldog Esports get their second round. Not much to really say about that round. It um, was very much a uh, cut and dry round for Bulldog Esports. They're able to bring it back, and post part situation clearly been practiced as they were able to take down the remaining members of Darkspawn Esports. Pulse, I want to say, is still yet to frag. Still, as we're moving to round number seven. Am I right, Zana? Yeah, zero, two, and three right now. I mean, his services haven't been really been required. He's picked up a couple of assists. That's the uh, that's the main thing, right? At least he's doing something. Oh, MT's going to take a little bit. I like that one. It bounces off the ceiling, so realistically shouldn't happen, but... You know, it's source. Every single outdoor map is still technically inside because the skybox. You blow my mind. Yeah. Watch more Freak X Philip. <laughs> that's the. That's the. 
that's the solution to your problem. But uh, MT now on this B-bomb site, he does have support. He can't even find one there. Emperor smoked off at Coffins. He couldn't help unless he wanted to go for a hopeful spam through. That smoke will get refreshed as well. And from the actions of the rest of the Bulldog Esports players, they're going to save in the four versus five. That's all they can really do in this sort of situation, right? Most players, well, all players on Bulldog Esports currently sub 2k. All have weapons left, so it does put them in a decent spot moving into round number eight. But of course, Dark Spawn Gaming going to be able to pick up a fifth round for themselves. Emperor will fall to the bomb if he doesn't move out of here fairly soon. Dear Lord, we got a face fall right there. Darkspawn Gaming going to be able to secure a fifth round for themselves as all five players survive a clean sheet. As only MT actually falls. Four other players going to be surviving for Darkspawn. Sorry. Four other players for Bulldog survive, and all five going to be surviving for Darkspawn. 5-2, round number eight. Yes. <laughs> we have we haven't observed the way where it's his second ever map that he's observed, so the scenic cameras uh, can be wonderful. <laughs> to be honest with you, those boxes do look... Oh, I, I am curious about what is inside them. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the the um, the coffins on cobblestone. Like they're so out of place on that A site, on the new cobblestone. Oh, what? But it's in the middle of the map. Like I, like, I think it used to be the case. I don't know if it's still the case. I haven't played cobble in ages, but they used to have like missiles inside them or whatever. Yeah, no, they're still there, they're, but they're in an even more awkward position now. Spray gonna yeah. be coming on through from Pulse so as MTs in the awkward position. It seems impact taking down two. Jenko gonna be able to take down one of his own as well to be able to leave us with a little bit more level playing field, but. Now Darkspawn have the advantage. Whisk going to be able to take that impact, catching him off guard inside of mid. Now Emperor and Scythe both have weapons available and could potentially come back into this round. But Bulldog, they don't want to take the fight again. Like, sure, your economy isn't great, but you need to put up some form of showing, right? Yeah. Because at this current moment in time, you've saved two rounds in a row. Sure, you're able to save four players, but you would have thought off the back of that you were able to do a little bit more, but... Not going to be the case. Siphon Emperor, of course, going to be saving. Aussie Whisk and Jenko going to be surviving this round unless they get picked off in the next couple of moments, but it's not looking like that's going to be the case. Six to two, another quick round for Darkspawn as they're able to pick up a couple of nice frags towards the A site, and that's what they really need to do. Whisk on the hunt, looking for at least one frag, tapping on the corners, tapping on the angles just in case, but nobody home. Yeah, Bulldog Esports, you know, Thanks to that safe weaponry, they will be able to get a buy up into this one, but you're quite right. It's, it has, has to be the rounds now. You know, you have to fight tooth and nail for every single one of them, otherwise Darkspawn Gaming is just going to roll all over you. They're not in a position to be able to give rounds away, right? Because, not sure, right now, we're, now. No, we're only on, sure we're only on round number nine. We've still literally got a, like two thirds of the map left to play. But when you're giving Darkspawn this much kind of time to play around and time to roll over you for lack of a better term they are going to continue doing that momentum is just going to continue building the morale is going to continue building and your morale is just going to be hindered completely tap going to be coming on through from cape is to be able to shut down res he pushed on through boiler and impact shuts down pulse bring us level playing oh impact is going to be able to pick up another kill as he's going to be caught inside of apartments going to be dropped down to 12 HP. Single bullet for many of the dark spawn, dark spawn players. Are going to be able to finish him off, but they're not looking to peak anytime soon. MT is, however, spots out one, but Two. isn't able to connect any of them. Going to begin his spray down. He's picked up one. That's going to be Whisk. And now it's going to be Yezzy. And oh, no, nobody else. Ajenko is going to be able to shut him down as he spots him out library. Now no one versus three. Bomb is still cleaning in his hands and... He's looking to be able to get it planted with only 30 seconds left on the clock and a one versus three. Oh, smoke this place. Haven't checked his right inside. Oh, oh, impact. <laughs> Sprays him down. Six to three. Bulldog secured himself another round and... What are we looking at? We're looking at the site. Looking at the car. Looking at CT. We're looking at T. It's T. Oh, is this the one that's mistimed? Spoiler. Oh, it's, it's not mistimed at all. It looks fine. The death stairs coming on through. Yeah. Right now. It's fine. It works perfectly. It gives us a nicer scenic view of the team as well, which is the main thing. 
shouldn't have mentioned it like yesterday. <laughs> no one mentioned it. It wasn't on stream. It doesn't count. That means it was never mentioned. <laughs> the rules of Twitch. But um, Dark Spawn Gaming, CT so come through for them. Jenko able to open things up for them in this round. And I think it's not looking great for Bulldog Esports. Only three rounds on the board for them so far in this particular game. And it doesn't seem like things are going to get any better anytime soon unless one or more of these players step up to the plate. Rez, flash through the smoke, does fly a couple of the Darkspawn players, but he can't capitalize on that very fact. And MT couldn't have exactly helped there because he was smoked off of everything as well. So Rez going for the Herald Mary play, flash through the smoke, but it simply doesn't work out and just gives an even more of an advantage away to Darkspawn Gaming. MT, he needs to find multi-frag here, but only does damage. And that basically sums up Bulldog Esports here. In these sorts of moments where players do have to, you know, stand up and, you know, stand their ground, it just doesn't happen. Why does Scythe do that? Why has he killed the chicken? You're saving. You don't need to do any more damage. <laughs> He's going to be holding his other apartments. He's looking for Ozzy as Ozzy's now on the flank. They are hunting for him. Ozzy, close angle. Hasn't spotted the orp out as of yet. Spots him out and gives him a second. Scares the living hell out of him as he's going to be able to pick up the orp. And, oh, or not. Going to be taking the AK through to the next round instead. Dogsborne Gaming with a four-round lead at this current moment in time is moving to round number 11. And a full buy. Going to be coming on through for Bulldog Esports. Yeah, and it's not usually the names that you see on Darkspawn actually putting up the huge frags, because Pulse is on two frags. He hasn't made much of an impact two. in this game, but Darkspawn leading, uh, Darkspawn Gaming is still leading uh, th seven to three. So it's Jenko going to be the top fragger on that Darkspawn Gaming side right now. He's you're finding all of these entries left, right, and center, and that, uh, Bulldog Esports haven't really had anything to reply to that very fact here. And again. Whisk is going to be making the opening. Jenko again out through brackets. That's right. But impact this time will get the best of him up on the flower pots. He stays up there as well. I mean, which is fair. You've got a cross coming on through. You can't target two players at once. One player going to be holding underneath you and then one person boosted. So this is what to hold if you still think you're going to begin pushing on A. And well, it looks like MT's finally going to be able to hold that angle correctly. Shuts down Wish, <laughs> shuts down Ozzy. Now oh, puts Darkspawn in a rough spot or not, as it looks like Pulse is going to be able to do a lot of damage towards the B site, but he's not going to be able to finish the job. Cape has picked up a single kill inside of mid, and he's looking to be able to do a little bit more damage now, pushing on over towards the B site. Cape is, spots out one, begins to spray, takes down Rez. Now MT and Scythe, last two guys remaining, health advantage, going to be going to the way of Dotsborn Esports. Flick comes on through from Scythe, but now this gives Capers a great opportunity. He's about to begin doing some more damage in this round. Going to begin pushing on up towards Scythe now, taking his time. 20 seconds remaining. Bomb is still dropped, but he's checking every single corner. Now, this is really, really smart from Capers. Like, he's pushing every single angle. I don't know if he actually spotted MT on the close angle. I think oh, he did. Grenade. Grenade's going to be able to take him out, and that was fantastic. Round's Bomb down. isn't going to be able to get planted, but he's on the hunt for him. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. He isn't going to be able to find him, but oh. finds him just at the wrong moment. Oh, Capers. He dies after the timer as well, so he doesn't oh, really, no. he doesn't get nothing in that round at all. 2,700 in the bank, he can buy an AK, but that is it. And it looks like one's going to get dropped for him instead, so... Yep. Not too bad for Darkspawn, of course. Bulldog going to be securing themselves around. Bomb was dropped basically in no man's land. Rest going with the Mag 7, though. I can only assume that's going to be heading towards apartments, and it is. He's actually going to get very aggressive with it. And there is a player on the other side of that wall that he could catch out here. But going to back off of it. Is the T-side player. That's Pulse. So, Darkspawn Gaming all stacked up towards Banana at this point. And Jenko once again finding an entry. It's Emperor up on the boost spot here towards CT. Flashed off the angle. Drops down. Right Free bomb well. site here for Darkspawn. The grenade is good enough to tag Whisk down. And now MT's bring Capers down through the smoke. That's a little win. Emperor, though, up through ruins. Bomb has been oh, planned. Emperor. God, I thought he was going to begin just spraying on through just in case. Post is going to be able to take down Rez on the back burner of this entire round. MT and Emperor now are going to be stacking up towards Coffins. Three versus four now. 
Split gonna become an improve from Impact, about to shut down Ozzy. Now he's looking to make even more of an impact in this round. Smoke is gonna be there to, be able to block him off, but oh, just through the impenetrable Pulse missiles. Getting... And he's getting really ballsy, look at that. He's just rushing him, he doesn't care. Impact's gonna be able to take him down. He does get a little bit too overzealous. And now Whisk pushing close. They've already won the round, but they want blood. Looking to be able to take down Emperor, and he's gonna be able to do so. Impact and the MT going to be able to survive in this round as Impact picks up another frag for himself. I think that was three kills for Impact in that round, just off the yeah. kind of tail end, not picking up that all. Yeah, Ducks One Gaming trying to chase down the saving players. I have to question the uh, monetary decision as a result of that, though, because they only have full utility on two players, and uh, Ozzy and Capers will have to forgo any grenades into this round, so it... It puts them in a little bit of a sticky situation here, but still, it's Bulldog Esports with the players that didn't save. They've gone down onto the pistols, so a bit of a haphazard by it for both teams, but the overall advantage going the way of Dark Small Game is a little crack in the right-hand side of that smoke for Emperor. You can see their feet as they try to cross to spot them out, starts tapping away with that USP. Yes, but Jenko has been able to find two frags with the AK-47 in mid, and now as Dark Small Gaming continue their way onto the B site, it seems like they're stamping off their authority on this entire series. Impact and MT are just going to save these two weapons. Yep. They don't really have enough clout in this round to be able to do much else. Impact does shut down KPs. He catches him a little bit off guard, but now we have the rotation. I really like this coming on through from Jenko. He's pushing all the way up through mid. He's going to be lurking all the way around A, just on the hunt for these last two players. Haven't spotted out where he is right now. We've got around about 30 seconds left on the clock to potentially find at least one more frag. Jenko holding inside a library. Expects Impact to be peeking on through it, but that's not going to be the case. He's next to Pillar right now, just outside of Arches, and he's still going to be holding around CT Spawn. Bomb is going to be going off, and Dark Spawn are going to be able to score themselves a ninth round. Last two remaining players for the CT side of Bulldog are going to survive Impact and MT now. Both in. Fairly decent spots for this round and are able to drop a couple of weapons down as well as Scythe is going to be giving the AWP back I want from to see. I want to see Bulldog get a lot more aggressive. They've just been sitting there waiting for Dark Spawn to come to them. They haven't been actively trying to take Banana at all. They haven't done anything with any sort of pushes or aggression coming to, through mid. The only the closest they got to that was playing close in at with the Max 7. You're right. So things need to change and maybe the triple stack towards Banana will be the plan of action here. They sent through a deep smoke as well, so at least they have some, you know, Banana is sort of neutral territory right now. No team giving the overall advantage in terms of that one. But Cypher out with the AWP. What is Jenko doing there? Because he's no, literally just holding, looking at a wall, because there's no angle that you can hold from that situation. Well, the, no one's going to be pushing. The deep banana smoke did dissipate just as that happened, so they were waiting to see anyone behind that smoke. But Cape is able to follow through on towards impact, so the numbers get equalized here in this situation. Dark Spawn players pretty much all stacked up towards the apartments. That was the wall bang to the top of the quad position. And no one's going to be there this time around. It has been a position that's been used by Bulldog Esports, so you can understand the thinking behind that one, but out on towards Balcony, Dark Spawn Gaming decide to go looking for double minutes in terms of the round, the two quick frags on the entry, and that is perfect. Yeah, Pulse with the assist there as well with the flashbangs, so obviously popping that out and then rushing straight onto the site, being able to take down one of his own, but the retaliation comes on through from the rest of the team. Emperor and MT, they are going to have to save in this round again. It's another round where they are literally hiding for their lives. Whisker decided no more. He's had enough of the saves. He isn't going to check the left angle, but well, he is, but a little bit too late. Emperor is going to be able to shut him down. He trades on up to the AK. A little more advantageous at range. MT and Emperor, though, still going to be hiding towards the B-bomb site. Dark Spawn don't want to lose anyone else. Sure, they have the money to be able to play around with, especially after winning this round as well, taking them to double digits, moving into 10-4. But we saw a similar sort of position on overpass. Dark Spawn Gaming yeah. going 10-4 and then 10-5. And then just incredible strength coming on through when they swapped on over to the CT side. Oh, are we going to be seeing the same thing here? Dark Spawn... <laughs> Great positions right now, a slightly subpar by coming on through from Bulldog with Impact, picking up the uh, trusted P90. 
Cypher's going to be the one to open up the engagements, however, as Jenko is going to hit the deck. Going to be pushing up the daisies. Ray's going to be dropped down fairly low as well. Down 700 HP. Oh, it's an early shot. And it's going to get punished by Whisk. Four versus four now. And oh, impact. <laughs> How have you got to done that? That is just... Not fair for anyone involved. Whisk is not having any of it. He's going to be able to shut him down. Bring us now down to a three versus three. Three versus two. Advantage going towards the way of Bull God. Bull God. Bull, Bull God. Dodd. <laughs> As Rose picks up a kill from self inside at mid. Bomb is down. Pulsating his way through T-Apps though. MT is actually just going to be below the bridge. So unbeknownst to both players. Almost directly above each other in this situation. MT has no idea. Pulse has no idea. He's checking around in the uh, sort of bottom second mid area. But no one has any idea. Everyone, <laughs> yeah, no one has any <laughs> idea where anyone is. But Emperor will finally find Capers. And this is now the chance for Bulldog Esports to have a good finish to this first half here. Bring it to five rounds and then look to see what you can do on the C side of things. Pulse up against three, though. We'll find Rez looking in completely the wrong direction. And now with 35 seconds left on the clock, he can start to have a little bit of an... Oh, MT. He, he had his a, legs, right? He had a little bit of a think about it. Pulse sends the flash over to try and recover the bomb. But MT's posted up on the angle. Bulldog Eastwatts will get their fifth round. I was in saying, really interesting circumstances. I was saying usual situations, Pulse wins that one versus three. Um, <laughs> but he isn't having he a usual game. Yeah. He, isn't, uh, he isn't coming alive like we are kind of... Kind of seeing. used to seeing, yeah. yeah. It's uh, five frags for him so far. Um, and that his team's winning pretty damn substantially as well. Ten to fives, moving to pistols now. CT side going to the way of Dark Spawn. That's a four man rush down mid. Yep. Dear Lord, it's going to be a quick one. Or not. They're going to go through apartments. Oh, no. No, they are going to be rushing directly through mid. And they're looking for. That banana push. Whisk is now going to be putting back onto the site. He recognizes that the rush is coming on through. He hasn't shown himself as of yet. No one has any idea he's there. Taps can be coming on through on Rez, but Rez is going to have to shut him down. Here comes Pulse now. Picking up his sixth kill of the game. Now a three versus three. Bomb is now going to be planted. And now here comes a retake towards the B site. Here it comes indeed. Rez tapping away with that USPS. He's only able to find body shots though. Here comes MT then gets deleted by Jenko. Rez with the triple kill at the end of the round. Boy, All three of them headshots and Bulldog Esports win the, win the second pistol round of this map and sets themselves up for the comeback. Well, yes, it does set them up. Of course, they have a good chance in this round. I don't know if the morale is going to be able to carry them through it. Dark spawn, five people rushing straight down mid. They're just looking for frags in this sort of situation. Pop flash is going to be coming on through. And oh no, they're not going to rush. They're going to hold the angles. MT not expecting this angle. He is now going to get caught off guard as the pistols rain on through. A couple of kills here and there, but it's not going to be enough. Jenko and Wiz picking up kills for Dark spawn, but that is all she wrote. 10 7, a full buy now going to be com coming on through from both sides. We've seen Darkspawn, of course, on the T side perform substantially well in these, substantially better, sorry. Mm -hmm than Dark Spawn. Five Orcs, Dark Spawn. No EWPs, didn't have the cash to be able to do so. Whisk, ill users, usage down mid. What we're used to seeing on the Inferno, it seems it is a pretty crazy map in terms of the utility damage that you can pull out the bag. But Bulldog Esports, firm control of Banana wasn't challenged by Dark Spawn. Nice so choice of words, by the way. Firm grasp on banana. Well played. <laughs> I didn't even mean it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even looking for it. It's the past the watershed. It's past. It's past 9 p.m. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. We, we won't go I too don't know crazy. How to respond to that? <laughs> you're just putting a complete stump on everything you're about to say. Well, let me kick it off for you. So we've got this five versus five situation right now. Scythe is still on the MP, uh, sorry, the MP5, the Mac 10. Instead of buying up, he's decided to be a little bit more economical. Jenko is going to begin to spray down inside of mid, but not going to be able to connect onto anything. Impact with the Molotov, just to kind of push him away from the angle. And he does read that quite well. Wisp picks up a kill, but is traded straight away by Rezd. And now we're in a four versus four. They've actually they hit the rotation off of B as well. So there's only going to be one defender of this one. And... Bulldog Esports, that's well they'll decide to head there. Leave Impact in a little bit of a lurk roll to try and keep these Dark Small players here at the A-bomb side while Pulse tries to defend the B. Kills Cypher and looking for more. Here he does get more. Rezd will go down. 
This hasn't exactly gone to plan here for Bulldog Esports, but here comes Impact from the back lines through CT. He spots Ozzy. That's... I don't know why Ozzy was up there. That's, uh, that's a an bit of an interesting one. But the thing is, this Bulldog Esports, they are very unlikely to win this round. Yeah, Five seconds left on this clock. And the bomb down, two kills to find, not going to happen. Even if he sprinted from CT with the knife out, just yeah. about to pick up that bomb, he wouldn't have had time to plant. So unless both players were stacked up and he kills them both with one bullet, that's not happening. No chance in hell. So Darts have played that incredibly well to be able to draw the round out as long as they have. Because even though it wasn't looking like um, Impact was going to be able to finish it off, you see there's always the potential chance. So being able to draw it out as long as they did is good. We are now on 11 to 7 advantage to Darkspawn. Round at number 19. Bulldog Esports. They have a couple of pistols on their side to try and back up the AKs and the AWP that they have. But we'll have to see if that results in any measurable win for them in this particular round. Fragmented buy coming on through from Bulldog right now, though, right? Yeah. Because we've got three full buys in the form of Scythe, Res, and Impact with uh, two rifles and the sniper. And then pistols for Emperor and MT. Of course, they're going to be holding these closer angles instead, just in case they can pick up a single frag onto Darkspawn Gaming. Darkspawn Gaming reading this quite well, though. Recognize that they could get picked off if needed. It's not going to be the case. MT peeking. Does have the bomb in hand. Only person really going to be able to stop them anytime soon is going to be Ozzy. Ozzy's holding quite close. He is boosted up. He has the MP9, the anti eco weapon in hand. Going to be able to spray down one. Looking for a second. That's going to be coming into the hands of Pulse instead. Resident MT going to be the first people to drop. Now here comes Impact. Shutting down Pulse from range. There's your full by weapon. Taps coming on through from Ozzy. He's about to shut down Impact again. And Emperor, well, there's your eco pickup. He's going to be able to take down Whisk. Picks up a weapon of his own as well. That's now going to be an M4A1. But there's not enough time, it doesn't look like. Oh, yeah. Bomb is rotating, but Capers catches him off guard. Your ops drops. You've got five seconds left. There goes the bomb as well. Just going to be Emperor remaining and the best sort of situation he's going to hope for right now is going to be 11 to 7. That isn't a great one at all. Darkspawn Gaming will win the round and bring it 12 to 7 looking to close out this series 2 to 0 and it's going to, Bulldog Esports going to be down onto the pistols at least. Of course you have Emperor, he survived at the end of the last round which is why he's been able to keep that M4 A1S in hand and the A1S still not often used. No, you're right. Uh, certain pros do of course kind of use it a lot more. They prefer it. Dear Lord Capers, hello. Good night, Scythe. Get shut down with your own orb. He's going to be able to take him out. Emperor, of course, going to be taking a little bit of damage. He's going to be dropped down to 71 HP. He's going to be able to pick up a frag of his own. He will do so. Capers with the reply with the AWP as well. No defenders of the B-bomb site, but that might be just as well because Bulldog Esports still exploring towards this A side. Impact with the Glock in hand. MT finds one with the CZ. Jenko finds Impact, finds Emperor as well, and Capis to finish things off for Darkspawn Gaming. MT will hit the ground, and Darkspawn starting to run away with this one, starting to get the momentum back together. And Bulldog Esports, this will be the round that tells the story here, arguably. They've forced up into this one. They've brought out a good couple of AKs. Emperor going to be the one struggling on the CZ. While he's struggling, still a pocket AK. He can do quite a lot of damage. He is the pack mule for utility yeah. right now. And oh, Ozzy, such an amazing opportunity, but wasn't able to capitalize on it. There is going to be a drop AK as well. So Emperor is going to be able to trade up to the CZ75's bigger brother. As we're going to be seeing a full buy potential, well, basically a full buy on both sides right now. Jenko going to be deploying the grenade and it's going to do a little bit of damage to impact and scythe. But not as much as we would have liked to see. Jenko playing fast rotate here. Bulldog Esports, if they can find the quick frag onto Pulse, then they at least get a bomb plant out of this one. But Pulse playing this one correctly, drops back a little bit, trying to watch the cross angle to the side, but Red will find him. Jenko! Oh, MT, you've been completely and utterly done there. Bomb that can come through for Bulldog Esports, still with the numbers advantage, but Rez very low, 4 HP. Emperor catches out the flank from Whisker. Now it's keepers against three Bulldog players. AWP in hand, you might as well save here his money. Well, it's exactly on zero. 
Yeah, it's not looking particularly good at all. Realistically, if he could, if if Jenko doesn't get, t sorry, if Wisp doesn't get taken out towards Banana and he's able to pick up that first frag onto Emperor, then yes, they can continue pushing on this and they could potentially even win the round. That's something I was going to mention, but of course, completely shut down. Um, KP is, I mean, yeah, he's got an open hand. He's going to be able to save that into the next round. They've got a lot of rounds to play with. It's round number 22 soon out of 30, so eight rounds to still play. Bulldog going to be moving to round number eight for themselves. 13 to eight advantage still to Danceborn Gaming. So only three rounds in it for them to be able to secure this best of three and go up against Buzzkill tomorrow. Yes, and we have confirmation of that. The lower it has bracket been pushed final. Back, yeah. yeah, the lower bracket final was supposed to be played tonight, but we had some series that went on for quite a while. Yeah, it's, um, it is now currently... 10 past 11, um, BST, that's UK time. People who don't know, KP is going to be able to shut down Scythe. So, of course, all the players are a little bit tired. We want to ensure that you guys see some top tier UK <laughs> CS. So they are going to be postponing that until tomorrow. Yes, they will. Respect from KP is though, those, those are the sorts of peaks from a Warper directly into a Molotov that tilts the other team. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Like, you hate it's to like, see why it. Why is but... he standing in the Molotov? Why is he peeking? But finds the frag and he's able to back away on 31 HP. Hey, if you've got the balls to do it, then yeah. <laughs> you yeah. deserve the frag, right? 100%. KP is not going to be able to pick up anything as of yet, with the exception of that first frag. Emperor going to be able to take down one in the form of Whisk, but of course, with pistols across the board for Bulldog. Sorry, for Darkspawn. They are looking to do as much economic damage as they can. Ozzy going to get spotted out on the boost, but Rez isn't going to be able to get anything from it. MT from range shuts down Jenko. But now we're in a three versus three. Cape is still with the open hand. If he could be up for something, it would have been good, but not going to be the case. Just going to be dropped down to 15 HP. No utility going to be available for our CT side. And yep, at this stage, once yep. again, cutting their losses. Deagle's not a terrible save. Of course, Ozzy does still have the... Oh, dear Lord. Does still have the half armor, so can full buy up to the head armor available in the next round for dirt cheap. And Cape is going to be saving the orc from last round again. 13 to 9. To the way still of Dart Spawn, but another round towards Bulldog Esports. Yeah, that's, yeah, you know, they're working their way back in and trying their best, and that's all we, all we like to see. <laughs> that's you all know, we can hope for, get, as long as they're trying get, their best, not throwing. A, yeah, a, uh, you know, A star for effort. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still far from over right now, right? Yeah, because yeah, Bulldog yeah. have actually made a huge comeback. Obviously, it was 10-5 on the first half. Dot Spawn only been able to pick up three rounds so far. Bulldog four. So, on paper, they are winning this half, right? Mm. Of course, if CSGO has played on paper, then this would be a completely different game. 2D, it wouldn't be 3D, and I don't know if I'll be able to commentate over it, but... A Counter-Strike version of D&D. &D. Oh, God, don't make that. <laughs> Nobody make that, please. D&D's long enough as it is. You don't need bomb plants as well. A nice boost coming out from Whisk. Instead of playing the standard angle directly on top of the uh, kind of the overhang, he's going to be hiding on top of the plant pots just next to Balcony. Just going to be holding inside a boiler. This position used to be played a lot more in previous years and previous iterations of the game. Probably the first time I've seen it for a little bit of time now. Impact going to be setting up the Molotov. And while that Molotov is going to rain true, it's also going to be dropping directly at the feet. It was all the ruse, though. Okay. They just threw all the utility, well, some of the utility towards the A side of the map. They're going to collapse onto the B site now. Ozzy has this flash prepared. And it's going to be his teammate, Apollo, stepping out to try and find the frags once that comes through. Not going to do so. Scale of the counter utility from the Bulldog Esports side. The Molotov will dissipate and finally they get themselves out. But that's Ozzy through the smoke. Pulse chiming in with kills of his own. With, what a damage. What a kill of his own with the MP9. And now three versus three. Ten seconds remaining here. Bulldog Esports. Obviously the get the bomb down. down yep. Yeah, but is that going to be enough? Three versus three. The health advantage going to the way of Darkspawn. Weapons are level. Two rifles and an AWP on both sides. KP is being a little bit passive, but 
for understandable reasons. Oh, Wisp's going to get tagged down by that op. Only going to get tagged, though. Isn't going to fall. Finally, looks like Jenko's going to be able to open up, though. Capers picks up one frag. Here comes Emperor. Not going to be able to do enough. Deals a lot of damage to Capers, but it does have a diffuser available. More than enough time to be able to secure a 14th round. And now Darkspawn. Two rounds left for them as they put a halt to Bulldog's momentum. Still yeah. a full buy available from both sides, though. Yeah, Emperor, Emperor needs to be finding that first frag there. You know, land a couple bullets in his chest, but that doesn't matter when, you know, the AK comes swinging around the corner and domes you. <laughs> yeah, you <definitely. know? laughs> So, yeah, Bulldog Esports still yet to hit double digits in this one. The comeback's still very much possible for them. It just makes it inordinately more difficult when Dark Sport Gaming just one round away from getting themselves match points and to secure their slot in that lower bracket final tomorrow morning here at Epic 27. Brought God. to you by Groove the Casinos. God, if Jenko peeks at his corner, he gets absolutely obliterated by Scythe, right? He's holding all of these. He's incredibly aggressive with the Sorp. Getting quite close up, close and personal. Jenko now picks an angle. Quite a close one as well, back towards Arch. Smoke is going to be deployed. Jenko doesn't reveal his position, though. He knows better than that. Not going to fire a shot. Five versus five with a minute and seven seconds remaining on the clock. As we're yet to see a full initiation. Bomb is still dropped inside of T-Spawn as yeah. well. Well, it looks like the rotation is going to be coming on through from MT. He's going to be picking it up and he is going to potentially take it over towards yeah, the B-site. Be, yeah. But there's two players still stacked up here. The bait hasn't been bought. The fish is not on the hook. And it might bite Bulldog them in the arse. Looking for an art trap here. They send the flash in. And Jenko wow. doesn't hit the shot. Impact able, impact able to punish him. And there we go. Here comes the rotation through CT then for Bulldog. He wants to try and collapse in this B split. And Ozzy, he's been deleted by Cypher with that AWP. Pulse up with the AUG though. That's the bomb down at the front of Orange's there. And Pulse still alive in this situation. But he won't be long for this world because Rez has his number. And now Bulldog Esports. They might just get 10 here. Whisk and Cape is heading their way up through Banana. Rez up close with the UMP though, and that is particularly dangerous. Both players do have defuse kits available, but Whisk is going to be able to tap down Rez. Oh, Spray is going to be coming on through from Impact. He is going to be able to shut down Cape. He's caught with his trousers down, running away from the bomb site as they call the save, but never just fully look away from a situation like that. You don't know who's going to be able to push on through. It's going to be 14-10. Bulldog now displaying a much better showing than what we saw over on Overpass. Potentially looking to take us to a long haul to the third map. Of course, Darkspawn don't want that to happen. I'm pretty certain Bulldog don't want to go for another best of three, but they also don't want to lose this series. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it's been a long day. It's been a long day for us. It's been a long day for the players especially. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this um, if this goes to a third map, it'll be a th very messy third map. I it believe. will be. It yeah. won't be bog standard. It won't be usual CS. So I don't think it'll be particularly... It won't be particularly nice to watch. It will very much be a... Uh, what do you mean it'll be hilarious to watch? Oh, well, no, obviously. But if you're looking for just professional Counter-Strike and <laughs> jumping on in and seeing some great plays. It might not be that, just due to the fatigue that all players are, of course, going to be experiencing. But we say that, and Whisk, with a lovely boost from Jenko's head, going to be able to take out one over the top of the smoke inside of mid. This now puts Dartsmore in an advantageous position. Of course, man advantage. Whisk going to be the only player with any form of real weaponry in this round. Aussie with the pocket AK in his clutches with the CZ75. He's going to be holding some close angles as well, along with the rest of the players stacked up towards the A site. And here comes the initiation. Tap's going to be coming on through from Jenko, and he's going to be the first one to be spied out. Capers picks up one. Wisp picks up another one as well. And dear Lord, what is going on? This has fallen apart for Bulldog. You can't lose that round, guys. Come on. The only person with any form of weaponry is going to be Whisk. But you die to pistols, you push on hard. Instead of going to the B site, which has been your tried and true site for the last few rounds, you push on A. And it does not work. 15 to 10, and look at Bulldog's economy. It's completely oh. fragmented. They were banking on everything in that last round. You've got one buy in the form of Cypher's AK, and he doesn't really have any utility. He just has the smoke available. This is looking like the final nail in the coffin for Darkspawn Gaming, as they are looking to 
Oh, the finally grenades. shut down Bulldog. Oh, the grenade. 33 damage almost across the board to all three pushing Bulldog players. Five people stacked up on Banana right now. The smoke's going to come on through and Pulse is ready and raring for it. Going to be able to deploy a Molotov of his own. Just about to stop any form of initial push. Aussie looking to pop down a smoke just in case anyone's going to begin pushing on through or if no one's actually going to push the angle maybe smoke off himself as well Jenkins was taking around to help out this b-bomb set defense so if things weren't already difficult for bulldog esports well it's going to get worse the only utility available for bulldog at this current moment in time is going to be the tech but sorry is going to be the smoke and it's going to be mt open up the initiation okay, okay. jenko with the spray down gonna be able to take down one but impact with the tech noise gonna be able to take down one of his own whisk and mr worldwide cape is himself he's gonna be able to pick up single frag and this round is looking potentially winnable still for dartsborn as they are now in a post plant situation it looks like whisk is Going to begin his rotation back on round through library. They do have a lot of utility to be able to play with. Around about 35 seconds left on the clock now. Grenade going to be deployed inside of construction. And are they cutting their losses? Yeah. Wow, they're going to let Bulldog win this one. Yeah. You might as well. Uh, I mean, you, your economy is not looking great. Capers, you know, the, that AWP is valuable uh, for Darkspawn Gaming. Right. And the, the org will help as well. So, well, these rounds have been incredibly back and forward right now, right? So that is just kind of a testament to what the economy is kind of displaying us. Yeah. Every single round that Dartsborn win, Bulldog somehow pull it out the bag. The next one, and then they force them into a, it force them into a save. Bulldog now only four rounds away from taking us to an overtime. Dartsborn gaming in this round it looks like it's going to be just three rounds away for Bulldog because you can't expect them to win this. But again. We saw them win an amazing pistol yeah. just a couple of rounds ago, so we can't cut them out just as of yet. Oh, Capers are very Here aggressive. Look at this. He goes for the frag, but isn't going to be able to connect onto anything. Oh, no. Sprayed on down by Siphon side of mid. That was a punish. He completely punished him. No BM from you rushing on through mid. It is going to be Wiss. We're able to take down Impact, and Siphon's lined up two of them. He's looking for more. He's going to be able to take down three. MT is going to be able to retaliate fairly quickly, though. Bring us now down to a two versus two. Aussie pushing on through the smoke. He's ready raring to go he's looking about to take down at least one he takes down emperor no it's all on mt all eyes on him indeed and he's gonna get shut down by jenko's usp that is it that is all she wrote darkspawn gaming on a very fragmented buy are gonna be able to secure it it's 16 11 they are gonna take on buzzkill tomorrow